Uh, good morning, church. And uh, this week we have a great expectation from God and uh, uh, having a conference and uh, with a meeting with the many saints and uh, many people. And uh, it will be an, a great, great uh, experience, uh, many of us and all of us. And uh, uh, just reading in uh, Numbers 11, where there is a, the people of Israel were facing a challenge about the regarding the food and uh, uh, they murmured they complained against the God's servant Moses they complained against uh, God and it says that if you read the full chapters uh, God was displaced and uh, and Moses is feeling the burden uh, of the the challenge uh, the of this uh, people's complaining and he went before God and he cried out and he said uh, how the many hows like a Hawaii you know you put me in this place how can I provide these people and these things and then God says that like in uh, chapter 11 verse 17 God said to bring a 70 spiritual men I'm going to put that put the spirit upon them and uh, God uh, then Moses called the 70 people and but the two of them could didn't come to the the tabernacle uh, they stayed back in their own tent and then uh, God put the spirit on these 70 men and these men prophesied and they prophesied only one time uh, this is the first time they prophesied and after that they never prophesied but these two men uh, on the camp uh, in the house they were maybe I don't know what happened maybe because of the attitude or uh, maybe uh, they are also like maybe grieved uh, by the incident which is happening whatever reason but they also prophesied but this is what the Joshua saying by seeing this Joshua came to Moses and Joshua the son of Nun Moses assistant and one of his choice men answered and said Moses my Lord forbid them because Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. They did not come to the tabernacle, but they are also prophesying. And uh, this is in 11, 27, 28. But then verse 29, Moses says amazing thing. Are you zealous for my sake? Or that all the Lord's people were prophets and the Lord would put his spirit upon them. And Moses' heart was an amazing that. I want everybody to be be prophesied or I want everybody to be possessed by the Holy Spirit and uh, as we gather together this week and uh, one of the great thing is that that like we have possessed by the Holy Spirit and we don't like as Warren Wisby says we don't use the Holy Spirit but let the Holy Spirit uses us our vocal cords our walk our attitude our mind our heart every as faculty of our being that the Holy Spirit uses us, uses us and this is amazing prayer like an unselfishness from the part of Moses Moses wanted everybody to be filled with the Spirit Moses wanted everybody to be walk in the Spirit and this is exactly the New Testament teaching Paul says in Ephesians chapter 5 like uh, be filled with the Spirit if you, Galatians 5 walk in the Spirit and it only happens when we submit to the Holy Spirit. And uh, this is a, this week we'll have a great expectation and um, we are going to see, we're going to hear what God is doing in many places. And also we want a personal like uh, an edification in our own hearts. And let, let's pray and uh, we participate and uh, having a great expectation. Tomorrow night we have, like, the teams are coming already, their teams are coming and... Uh, uh, like it's amazing fellowship we we will have. God bless you, in Jesus' name. Amen.